All right. Um, we will move on to agenda item seven, which is going to be comments from the council members. And we will start with uh, council member Boomgarden, if you have any additional comments, sir. I do not. Congratulations to the mayor and the new vice mayor. And that concludes my comments. Thank you, sir. Uh, council member Espindola. I'll try to make it brief because a lot has already been said um, with our former mayor and congratulations, Mayor Shaw and Vice Mayor Krishner and welcome to have you back, Councilperson Harris and Councilperson Boomgarden. Got that right? Okay, I just wanted to get the rotation correct. Um, thank you everyone for being here tonight. This is an amazing um, opportunity to change of the guard moment. It's such a, sp a special moment for all of us to share. Um, I really don't want to add too much more to what's been said, but so much has been accomplished. I believe in one year we've been able to work together as our former mayor has said um, in so many ways that the accomplishments um, are a list of a long list. Like if you wanted to look at it, it would be a, a few hours of discussion and I don't want to labor because we might have a little celebration in pending here soon. Um, but I do want to I, I do want to say um, to our former mayor, um, I want to thank you, Karen, for allowing us to have um, former mayor um, Boomgarden be with us. Not like he's gone anywhere, but um, as a as a mayor, um, I have to say that I have learned so much from your style and leadership. Um, your approach, how you approach things when they're so difficult and severe in crisis and pandemic issues, um, your steadiness, your willingness to communicate, your inclusiveness, even when it was far apart in the discussion, you were always able to bring us back together and help us come to some sort of consensus or decision. And without having you in the last year, I believe that maybe we would have not been as well off as we are as a city. And I thank you so much because that has been important, important work. And just the, the servant leadership that you have every day and no matter how busy you are, where you're traveling, send you a text, send you a call, you're, you'll respond. And I really, really appreciate that. As one of five, you've done a fantastic job as our mayor. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for all that work. And I hope that we can continue that on with our new mayor and our vice mayor because the quality of communication in any aspect of a job or any relationship is a two-way conversation. And I really hope that we're able to continue doing a lot of that. I want to say thank you to Dave. Um, the other Dave, Dave Vaughn, um, the last several months that you've been with us here on the help of everything that you've done as our city manager, you've been instrumental and I am thankful for the opportunity that you came to our city and were able to seal and put together so many parts of our work. And now that we have Diana, it's just a fantastic continuum. I do wanna say one thing that I, um, I am very much, um, proud of all the things that we've done. Um, one thing that is really close and dear to my heart is that we've been able to celebrate um, the women that work for the city. Um, in the aspect of COVID and the pandemic in the last um, two years, it's been really challenging for, for a lot of women to you know, um, continue their professions and continue taking care of their homes and um, family and other things. and. Um, the women here in our city have really stood up and stepped up, and I want to thank them for all of their great work. And I, um, there's no doubt that without our city staff, one of the things that I'm really proud of is that we increased our revenue in probably history time, and we really went through our labor no <laughs> negotiations without too much labor pains. And which is good. It's a big accomplishment to say, and that shows for our community and our city employees how important they also are loyal and value and are part of the community and our city and services. 
So I, I just want to say that, you know, to serve our community is not forgotten in me at all. It, the idea of respect, open communication, and accountability is how I live. And if you interact in any way besides this dais or outside in the chamber or in other opportunities, I think you find that. I ran into a lady yesterday when I was shopping, or actually, I uh, wrong day, Saturday. I was shopping at Kay Roberts. If you haven't been there, it's in a fantastic little local shop. And I was standing there buying things for my mom for Christmas and just started a little conversation. And the conversation was about kindness. She was asking me, how is it that in this world we have forgotten to be kind to each other? And I said, I don't really believe that that's happening, but it is sometimes. She said, if we could be more kind to each other and respect each other and have conversations, even if they're indifferent, let's have those conversations. But she said, people are just not generally kind to each other. And I have learned serving in the last three years, you have to pick your battles and you have to know that you can grow a thick skin and be okay and still do what's right for the community. We all serve this city because we believe in serving our city the best. And I just wanna wish everyone a Merry Christmas and happy holidays and thank you so much for being here tonight. Thank you. And uh, Council Member Harris. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, you know, the accomplishments are far and wide we represent you know, with the, as the council, the elected body, we kind of a, a conspicuous face of the city. But I tell you what, uh, former Mayor Boomgarden said it best when he says our accomplishments are a team effort and represent the city employees and are re re reflective of their hard work, their dedication, their spouse's dedication, and the, the network of people we have throughout the community our men and women in uniform are out there 24 seven protecting us while the rest of us sleep, risking their lives. And it's, it's, I think it's a good time today to reflect on that and that's what we all represent. We come together, we all have our different roles here. We, we step up to the plate 24 seven when necessary to fulfill them. And I think we do it as, it is such a good job. It makes Yuba City a safe place to live, a great place to live. Our, uh, the true meaning of community. Uh, you can't go to Starbucks without seeing one or two or three or four or 10 people you know. And it's, it's great. And that gives you that feeling when you get back in your car, when you shake their hands. And um, I'm proud to, to, be, to live here, to be from here, to be a part of this council, be a part of this community. Proud to work with all four of you, every one of our city staff. You guys have done such a great job. And this, this evening tonight also represents something that's very unique, not just Shiva City, but in the United States of America. A transition of power where we all are all slapping and joking and shaking each other's hands and having a good time. There's not a shot fired. That might be an extreme example, but I tell you what, it's a reality in some, some places, right? And um, another time to take it, maybe pause and, and acknowledge that deliberately, that uh, we are lucky and we are um, in a good place. People um, are of the opinion that we're not being kind to each other. Yeah, we have, we have some extreme opinions out there and some people making some poor decisions how they express them. But the bottom line is there are, there's the uh, uh, most people, a majority of people who want peace and will want tranquility and want the good thing for the right reasons. Even if we have differences of opinion, we do here, I know that, but you, as long as you're professional and courteous about it, um, you know, the ball keeps moving forward for, and for a good reason. Mark, uh, as mayor, I tell you one, one thing, many things I'm impressed with you and your leadership style, but uh, you're, you're a calm demeanor, man, because there's so many times I've seen you just really, where I, where I, I, think, I don't think I could have handled it. <laughs> you're, you, you, and I've told you that before. And uh, I know you know that because I've, I've gotten the kick under the table a few times, but, but, but I respect that. And there's many things I respect about Mr. Boomgarden, um, but that's a very, very admirable trait that you have a way to keep the, the meetings and when people would go off completely inappropriately, but yet you're able to keep that, that calm. And uh, I respect that and thank you for that and many other things. Dave, welcome to the center chair. Can't wait to see this show. 
<laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be good though. He's gonna do a good job. We have we have a good thing. Wade, of course, looking forward to some good things from you. And uh, it's all in, you know your first year here, but I tell you what, you've really like Mark said, hit the ground running, and we've done some good things. I had some good conversations, and I think many more to come. I could go on and on. I'm not going to. Bottom line is, it's about this process. It's about Yuba City. Thank you all um, for being a part of it with us tonight. And thank you to the city staff. And uh, keep up the good work. And, uh, Mar uh, Dave, good, uh, best wishes to you and your new uh, endeavor. And Diana, thank you for uh, saving us. <laughs> now you're good. It's all good. Congratulations, Diana. We're looking forward to working with you as well. So I will stop. Thank you. All righty. Thank you, sir.